Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome to my channel Jahangir Science School. Today I am going to uh, discuss about Unit 1, Chapter 4, uh, Momentum. First we have to learn about what is momentum. Momentum, the product of mass and velocity is called momentum. Momentum is a vector quantity because uh, velocity is a vector quantity that's why momentum is uh, a vector quantity we know when a vector quantity is multiplied with a uh, scalar quantity then resultant that means result must be a vector quantity so we know momentum equal to momentum equal to mass into velocity mass into velocity Momentum is denoted by P, P equal to M into V. Uh, so, unit of momentum is kg meter per second, kg meter per second. Why? Because unit of uh, mass is kg and unit of velocity is meter per second. So, that's why unit of momentum is kg meter per second. Sometimes we write this uh, like meter per second. It is a vector quantity. Uh, momentum is a vector quantity because uh, velocity is a vector remember when a vector is multiplied with a scalar quantity mass is a scalar but velocity is a vector so remember the result product must be a vector quantity so momentum has both magnitude and direction that's why momentum is a vector quantity vector quantity Another thing, momentum is related with force. Uh, we know F equal to MA, force equal to mass into acceleration, force equal to mass into acceleration. So uh, mass and acceleration, we know acceleration A equal to V, final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. So MV minus U by T, so we can write MV uh, minus mu divided by t so force f equal to mv minus mu by t so mv is the final momentum final momentum momentum and mu is the initial momentum initial momentum uh, initial momentum momentum and t is the time taken t is the time taken so uh, we can write force equal to force equal to final momentum minus initial momentum divided by time taken we can also write force equal to change in momentum uh, change in momentum delta p by uh, time of collision delta t so force equal to change in momentum divided by time taken remember unit of force is newton and unit of uh, unit of momentum is kg meter per second meter per second divided by second so uh, for we know uh, another another kg meter per second kg meter per second square is the uh, alternative uh, base unit representation of the newton newton so uh, Another thing, impulse, impulse. Do you know about impulse? If a large amount of force acts for a very short time, then the product of force and time is called impulse. So we can write impulse, impulse uh, equal to, uh, impulse equal to uh, uh, force into time, force into time. So uh, force into time, when we multiply uh, force, uh, force into time, then we get, uh, change in momentum change in momentum change in momentum so we can write we can write impulse impulse equal to change in momentum change in momentum or uh, force into time so we can calculate uh, uh, calculate impulse uh, by uh, product of force into time or change in momentum another important thing uh, when any uh, car crash or car accident occurs, then we uh, write impact force, impact force, force equal to uh, change in momentum, 
चेंज इन मोमेंटम मोमेंटम डिवाइडेड बाय टाइम ऑफ कॉलिशन टाइम ऑफ कॉलिशन 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 सो देर देर आर सम सेफ्टी फीचर इन आर मॉडर्न कर लाइक क्रांपल जोन क्रांपल जोन नंबर वन क्रांपल क्रांपल जोन क्रांपल जोन सीट बेल्ट सीट बेल्ट बेल्ट एयर बैग एयर बैग कोलप्सेबल व्हील कोलप कोलप्सेबल स्टीयरिंग व्हील स्टीयरिंग व्हील so when any car crash occurs then crumble zone seat belts airbag collapsible steering wheel increases the time of collision we know when uh, a fraction if the denominator denominator increases then total fraction in uh, total fraction decreases so crumble zone seat belts airbag collapsible steering wheel increases the time of collision and decreases the amount of impact force and uh, uh, reduces the amount of serious injuries and now conservation law of momentum uh, conservation law of momentum uh, without any external uh, force except collision or explosion total momentum before before is equal to total momentum after that means any uh, system always momentum remains same so momentum is conserved in any type of collision so uh, before collision say there are two objects object a object b mass of the object a is m1 mass of the object uh, b is m2 and initial velocity uh, of the object a is u1 and initial uh, velocity of the object b is u2 here uh, uh, consider u2 uh, is greater than u1 so they uh, move in uh, in same direction in a straight line so before collision total momentum total momentum uh, of the a object is m1 u1 because we know momentum equal to mass into velocity so m1 u1 uh, so total momentum of the system m2 u2 m into u2 so after collision after collision the final velocity final velocity uh, of the object a is v1 becomes v1 and uh, final velocity of the object b is v2 after collision so uh, momentum of the first object final momentum m1 v1 plus m2 v2 according to the conservation law of momentum Uh, total momentum before is equal to total momentum after so th there must be equal so total momentum before is equal to total momentum after it is for case 1 if two object uh, move separately after collision then uh, formula will be formula will be m1 u1 plus m2 u2 so total momentum before is equal to total momentum after m1 v1 plus m2 v2 v2 so total momentum before is equal to total momentum after but if two object two object move combinedly after collision after collision then formula will be like that say uh, before collision before collision uh it is a object it is b object mass m1 uh mass of the b object m2 and initial velocity 1 uh final uh, initial velocity of the object b but after collision if they move combinedly 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 means they join together and there is a common velocity uh, so mass of the m1 mass of the m2 so it is before and it is after then remember for case 2 case 2 remember so m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equal to 
m1 plus m2 into v because after collision they move combinedly combinedly that's why there is a common velocity let the common velocity after collision be uh, v that's why uh, before collision before before uh, collision m1 e1 because mass of the uh, a object is m1 and initial velocity of the uh, object a is e1 so m1 e1 is the momentum of the uh, a object before collision uh, and plus m2 m2 is the mass of the object b and initial velocity is u2 so m2 u2 so total momentum m1 e1 plus m2 u2 on uh, after uh, collision they move combinedly they move combinedly so there is a common velocity v so m1 plus m2 into v 